You know, these days when someone calls you on the telephone, it's really easy to know who's calling. Because if they're in your address book on your cell phone, then their name pops right up. Susie's calling, Sally's calling, and you can answer and say, hello, and you can call them by their name. You know, but even before caller ID was invented, before that came along, whether it's uh, through the regular telephone line on your phone or whether it's through your cell phone and your address book, it was always possible to know who was on the other end of the line so long as we had cultivated a close, intimate friendship and relationship with the person who was calling. Isn't it amazing that in the millions and millions of voices that when we have an intimate, personal long-term, close relationship with someone, we can recognize the specific tone of their voice often right away. In John chapter 10, verses 1 through 5, Jesus tells us that his sheep hear his voice. His sheep know his voice. You know, the beauty of the with God life, the life in Christ as followers of Jesus is that you and I can have a personal, intimate, close friendship and relationship with Jesus. By the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of the Father who sends the Son for the salvation of the church, to make a real offer of salvation to the entire world, to whosoever will come and believe, we are given the opportunity to not only have the birthright to not only have the legal justification from sin, to not only have the, 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 the cancellation of the debt that we owed, as it were, but to know God in Christ, to know his voice, to hear him calling, to know him intimately, to have a personal, close, collective relationship with God in Christ. The Christian life is not a set of propositions to be believed, although there are sets of propositions to be affirmed and to be understood. It is primarily life with God in Christ. And God is calling you and he's calling me today, on the phone as it were, through the preaching and proclamation of the word, through the opportunity that we have to celebrate his goodness in the sacraments in baptism, where we're washed clean, symbolically pointing to what happens by faith, and in communion at the Lord's Supper that we'll be celebrating at First Congregational Church this coming Sunday, where we gather together as a collection of people who've said, I hear his voice. The one who's calling is Jesus. I recognize his voice. And I want to enter into the fold of his flock through the proper gate, which is salvation in Jesus Christ, which is the kindness of God offered through faith, which is active trust and believing in what Jesus has done and in who he is. I, I hear his voice calling and I want to know him in intimacy, in, in a personal, connected way, so that when he calls, I recognize his voice. Oh, the caller ID, as it were, says Jesus is calling. Jesus is on the line. And all he's waiting for, as the Bible says in Revelation chapter 3, is for us to open the door of our heart and let him in, and he'll dine with us, and he'll dwell with us, and we can know him in intimacy. Listen, God is calling you to more than religious activity. God is calling you and I to more than simply affirming sets of propositions and truths about who he is and what he does. He's calling on the line to say, come home by faith so that I might restore in you my image. Listen, I hope to see you in church on Sunday, and I'm trusting that the Lord is going to reveal himself more fully to us because every time we gather, we have the opportunity to grow closer to one another, to increase the fold as it were, as God is bringing others in, and most notably, to grow in our recognizing of the shepherd's voice. Listen, God bless you today. I look forward to worshiping with you.
Amen.